For national service, that's to get some in. They'll tell you now if you ask your dad's to get some in. So leave your mummy's loving arms, there's no way you can win. You'll be victim of your corporal's job, so get some in. The rat's got two years of your life, now isn't that a sin? There's only one way to get out, and that's to get some in. Having a quiet smoke. So <laughs> shut yours. Only patients are allowed to smoke in the ward, not ward orderlies. We know. Why do you think we're under the bed? <laughs> well, one more bed. Oh. oh no, don't. I'm ill. Uh, it's not we. No, I could report you two. Just you try it, flea bite. And whatever you've got wrong with you will suddenly develop complications. Aye, don't push your luck. You're dealing with desperate men. Yes. Well, why should you be so desperate? Why? I'll tell you why. A couple of days ago, we were sunning ourselves in Malta. Now we're back in rainy England, bumping floors for burks like you. That's why. And now, now, we're all on jankers. That's why. Fine, they've taken my wife away from me. That's why. And in Private Ward D, we are at the beck and call of the creature from the Black Lagoon, alias Corporal Bloody Marsh. <laughs> That's why. But don't ever go at me. I'm an only child. I'm not surprised. Orderly! Orderly! Oh, oh God, it's a week. Orderly! Look, shut up. We've got enough on our hands. But I'm on a bedpan. <laughs> Do we carry a licence to practise in bedpans, Bruce? Aye. And as far as I'm concerned, that's all life is these days. Orderly! One big bedpan. <laughs> Have you disinfected that? Shut up. Orderly! And you! Holderly! I'm sorry, Corporal, I was working in the other ward. Never mind the other ward. I am awake. Oh, I've never a guest. Watch it, McDangle. <laughs> and where's my breakfast? Oh, go and get it. Never mind, go and get it. It should have been here waiting for me when I woke up. And where's my medal? There it is in the box. Did you pull that last night? Yes, Corporal. Put it on then? Yes, Corporal. All right, Jock McDangle, don't stand there admiring me. <laughs> Ball my wheelchair. Yes, Corporal. <laughs> morning, Corporal. It's a lovely morning and the lark is on the wing. Shoot it. <laughs> right. Now, I've just got to take your temperature, Corporal. I'll tell you where you can stick that, and it's not in my mouth. <laughs> You've got to do your pulse and respiration and change your bandages as well. Get off! I'm not having the likes of you touching my beautiful body. Morning, Corporal. Morning, sir. Everything A4, G1? Oh, yes, thank you, sir, except... No, everything's fine, sir. Except, except what? Oh, it'll only come out sounding like complaining, sir. Then complain? Well, it's only little things, sir. It's just that I've been awake for two hours, sir, and I haven't had any breakfast yet, and nobody's checked my pulse or my temperature or changed my bandages. <laughs> Good God, there are four of you. Are you lampposts or something? <laughs> well, sir, there are two sides to every question. Yes, the corporal's and mine. Now go and get his breakfast. Back to some mags later on, Corporal. Oh, Woodbines, please, sir. <laughs> Not fags, Corporal. Mags. Oh, sorry, sir. I was listening to you with my frostbitten ear. You... <laughs> you brick. Pardon, sir? <laughs> Good man. Carry on. Now, can we do your treatment, Corporal? No, you can't. Oh, but the group captain just... Well, you're in trouble, then, aren't you? Look, you've really got it in for us, haven't you, Corporal? Yes, I have, and I'll tell you for why. You lost me my stripes and you got me posted to Labrador. We didn't. Yes, you did, but I got them back, didn't I? Plus, plus that. So I am on top where I belong and you're underneath where you belong and I'm going to do it on you from a great height. Trough time. Yes, well, we must have well Hang on, hang on. I want somebody to read to me while I'm being fed. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm no good. I'm illiterate. I know that, it would have said, that's why you're doing the feeding. <laughs> Now, who shall I have? Oh, you're no good, Jockster. I can't understand a word you say. I can't help having an accent. See? Gibberish! <laughs> Puff house? No, I don't want you sitting near me, bed. I'd only turn me back for five minutes and you'd be in beside me. <laughs> yes, it'll have to be you, Holy Joe. Oh, right, blow. You two, out. You feed, you read. Books on the table, chapter three. There he goes. Right, I'm your gob. 
<laughs> what's that? Well, what's on the plate, isn't it? Fried bread, bacon and egg. Well, I don't want it in that order on the fork. I want fried bread, egg and bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Go on then, Wordsy. Read. Very well. <clears throat> Chapter three. Roxy was the kind of dame who had everything where it should be, but more of it. <laughs> you don't get that. <laughs> anyway, I looked at her through the blue smoke curling up from the end of my butt. Get your delicious frame over here and strip, kid, I rasped. Go on, go on. More yolk, yeah, yeah? Do I have to? Yeah! The kid had played this number before, and my eyes stood out like Buick headlamps as I stared at the full swell of her firm young... Oh. I can't say that! <laughs> You came! I won't, I won't! Oh, oh, where was it? There, there, there! Oh, my eyes stood out like Buick headlamps. I gazed at the full swell of her young breath. Oh! <laughs> oh, blimey! Oh, Charlie Harry Fair Play's still on the front! Uh, sorry, mate, have you finished? No! <laughs> now that's what you call constipation. <laughs> well, stand by your butters, Bruce. Doctors have arrived. Uh, oh, thank goodness you've come, Doctor. I think I've got a man wedged in a big pain. <laughs> Don't muck about, Jakey. This is serious. Oh, we've got to give out medicines. Oh, it's giving medicines. Drugs, that is. And drugs can drug you. What have you got there? Bruce. Aspirins, milk of magnesia, castor oil. Lethal! Jakey, push off. Sorry, Doc. Come on, Bruce. We've got a cure the floor of dirt. Holy! It started again. Oh, ignore him. We've only just left him. Now, that's the drug you should have told him about, Matthew. The Omnipon. Of course. Now, that is a real drug. Yes, right. Dose of this before the operation and the patient goes in singing. Holy! Don't be quiet. Which patient is it for? Um... Bed five. Now, counting from the left, the sergeant said. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Him. Right. Notes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Complications. I haven't done anything. Look, look, look. This patient is due for an exploratory abdominal in the operating theatre at 1,600 hours. NB... He is of a highly nervous disposition, and preoperative medicine should be administered with the utmost tact and reassurance. Okay. <laughs> Saunter over and reassure him. <laughs> Hello, old man. Lovely day for an operation, isn't it? Well, I showed you. <laughs> Lead up to it gently. Here, let me have a go. Hello, old son. Look, um, do us a favour, would you? We're a bit pushed for time, so just take this for me. What operation? Look, it's not a serious operation. Ah. Look, I'm not there for an operation, I'm not. Now, look here, old son. I'm not coming the, coming the heavy-handed martinet with you, but we are trained to make you take this capsule whether you want to or not. What are you going to do? Um, Ken? Oh, look, please take it. It's our first day. No. I'll give you half a crown if you take it. <laughs> No, I don't trust you new people. You don't know what you're doing. We do, we do. It's just that we haven't done it before. I mean... <laughs> Five bob, then. No! Oh, Matthew. Jakey! What? Look, got a bit of a problem with a patient. Holy! Oh, two patients. Look, she won't take his capsule. Ah, all right. Who is he? Him. <laughs> it's him. I tell you what, why don't you give him a knockout drop and then give him the capsule? <laughs> Capsule is a knockout drop. Oh, oh, well, you've got me there then. Now, look, come here. Come here. It's simple. Knock him senseless. <laughs> well, he needs a good cushion in him. We're supposed to be healers, not pug uglies. <laughs> well, you've got a better idea. No. No, it'll have to be force. Right, now look. First we'll surround him, then you grab his legs, Bruce. You grab his arms, Jakey. Arms. Matthew, you hold his nose, and when he opens his mouth, I'll ram the capsule down his throat. No. Great. Great. Right. Don't make it look obvious. <laughs> no. What are you going to 
do then? Right, get him out of the Oh, it's a difficult patient, sir. We're trying to reassure him. <laughs> I've seen more reassurance in an abattoir. What are you trying to do? <laughs> sir, he's due for an operation and we're trying to administer Omnipon. Your cart around you, Airman? Yes, sir. This man's not due for an operation at all. Don't be so damn silly. Silly? Shut up, Carter. Get back to bed. <laughs> sir? Well, it says bed five and he's in bed five. Oh, look. One, two, three, four... Five. Fool! One! Yeah! Oh, sorry. <laughs> Two! Three! Four! Five! Give me that. <laughs> you see? That's how to do it. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Sorry? Do you realise what would have happened if I hadn't arrived? Every man jack in this ward would have been given the wrong medicine. Chap over here's got diarrhoea. You would have given him a laxative. Oh. <laughs> We're sorry, sir, but it's Corporal Marsh. He keeps calling out and confusing us. Keeps calling? Well, yes, sir. He ain't stopped for the last half hour. Come with me. Orderly! Sir, I've been lying here for ages. Get the cook back in, Joe. Oh, dear, I'm sorry to be a nuisance. Just a moment, Corporal. In all my hospital experience, I have never come across such a callous, inefficient, bone-idle element as you fall. I have told you and told you, this man gets immediate attention whenever he asks for it. And you, Corporal, really are a bit of a silly bit. Yeah, I know, sir. I should have been able to get back in the chair by myself. I didn't mean that, Corporal. I mean, there's no need for you to shout when you want something. You've got a buzzer. Use it. Oh, that's a buzzer, is it, sir? Now, are you able to operate it? <coughs> like that, sir. Well done, yes. Now, that uh, buzzer <laughs> rings in the corridor, the main ward, the steriliser room, so there'll be no excuse for your element not to hear it. And when you hear it, what do you do? Come in here, sir. You hurry in here, get it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Louts! See you later, Corporal. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> yeah. Strikes, medal, and now a buzzer. <laughs> Marshmallow. Mm. 
What are you hanging about for? Just waiting to see if you wanted another one. No, I don't. Push off. <laughs> Change my mind. I think I will have another one. <laughs> Shall I have another one? <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> On the other hand... <laughs> no. <laughs> Mind you, they are nice. <laughs> no, I won't be having another one. <laughs> so you're definitely not having another marshmallow? <laughs> I'll think about it. I'll give you a buzz. <laughs> No, I won't have another one. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 Shouting is bad for my nerves. Yes, Corporal. What's the time? Five past. Right. <laughs> yes, Corporal. Are you sure it's five past? <laughs> yeah. Right. Five past what? <laughs> Six. Six. <laughs> Don't the time go quickly when you're enjoying yourself. <laughs> on like this, I'll swing for him. The thing is, we're getting further and further behind with our work in the main ward. I've got three patients waiting for these sleeping pills. They'll probably be asleep by the time I give them to them. <laughs> oh, Blast and thing him! I'll go. No, no, fair play, Bruce. It's my turn. Oh, that's all right. I mean, Marsh is obviously trying to kill us, so I might as well go. I mean, I'm going to be the first one to die anyway. <laughs> I haven't even done evening temperatures yet. Oh, why? Well, I, I ain't taking the laundry down. I've got three bed baths outstanding and I still haven't shaved LAC Tring. You know, if this goes on, you'll be able to recognise which patients come from our ward at a glance. They'll all have high temperatures, great long beards and filthy pyjamas. <laughs> oh. Is that all of them? Yeah. Yes. What did it want? It had the teacups rattling. It wants a cup of tea. Oh. I'll go, Bruce. I've got to take these pyjamas down, or they'll walk down by themselves. See you later, lads. Yes, yeah, see you. Right, that's it, Matthew. Yes, come on, Ken. We'd better get these rounds done. Oh, come on, lads. Have a cup of tea. We haven't been off our feet all day. Three days, Bruce. That's how long he's been buzzer happy. Three days. Oh, very well. Just for five minutes, though. All right, come on. So, this is where you're loafing about. That ward you're supposed to be working in looks like something out of the Crimean War before Florence Nightingale arrived. Well, we're just having a cu cup of tea, sir. Well, I presume you're going to follow it with a dinner dance in here, are you? <laughs> We've been terribly busy, sir, truly. Doing what? There's a man in your ward with an abdominal dressing that's fallen round his ankles. <laughs> L.A.C. Tring looks as if he's growing mushrooms on his face. The whole place looks about as antiseptic as a rat's nest. Well, it's not our fault, sir. Then whose is it? Corporal Marsh, sir. Don't start that again. But look, it's the truth, sir. He's gone buzzer crazy. We don't have time for anything else. I know what this is. Jealousy. 
You National Service layabouts can't stand having a hero in the place. It makes you look small, which is what you are. It's the truth, sir. I swear by the wife that Raph's taken away from me. It's the truth. If you were here for just a short time, sir, you'd, you'd hear that buzzer keep going. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Very well. I shall put this ridiculous assertion of yours to the test. I have an hour's paperwork to do. I shall do it in here. Well, that, that's all we ask, sir. Yeah. Um, chair, sir? Don't fawn. But let me tell you this. If I find you're telling lies, jankers will become a way of life for you. <laughs> Got him. We've got him. Absolutely deafening, isn't it? The sound of my watch. I can't understand it, sir. It's like witchcraft. I know why it hasn't buzzed. It's an electrical fault. <laughs> the only electrical fault in this room is between your ears. <laughs> your ears, your ears, and your ears. Sir, uh, could you come back in half an hour and give it another try? I'm not dashing backwards and forwards, listening to silence for you or anybody else. It's quite plain to me that you're all perverted. You seem to me to have a paranoid hatred for Corporal Marsh, a man, a hero, who is above and beyond anything you could ever aspire to. Oh, no, sir. Granted, we don't like him very much, but... Ah, there you are. Out of your own mouth. Well, there's only one way with little green-eyed monsters like you. Punishment, work, and more punishment. Report to my office at 08.30 tomorrow. Oh, and I suggest you eat a hearty breakfast. I believe it's customary for condemned men. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh. I always knew I'd die in England. But why didn't he press the buzzer? Not even once. It's like I said before, it's witchcraft. Oh, I should have realised a long time ago. Marsh is in league with the devil. What your cooks? Hello. Hey, hey! Oh, God, blimey. I thought you'd be happier than this. You ain't had a buzz out of him for over an hour, have you? No, we haven't. The one time we actually wanted him to... <coughs> just a minute, just a minute. How do you know? I thought you went down to the laundry. Ah. Yes, well, I did. Only I did take Marsh's tea in first, see? When the funniest thing happened. You know those sleeping pills that fell all over the floor? <laughs> well, two of them somehow found their way into my pocket. <laughs> and then accidentally leapt into Marsh's tea. <laughs> and he's been sleeping like a baby ever since, eh? <laughs> what are you looking at me like that for, eh? Hey? Hey? Get him! Why? Oh, right. What's up? Oh! Oh, oh go run your way! Oh, oh, yes. oh, 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 o